The concept for the skate park series came about as a result of some conversations where there's a real issue with young people using skate parks and what the wider community thought of those young people and the young people were quite stigmatised. So we started to look at the skate park events that we had and we thought that if we could make them better for the audience and if we could make them fun and actually highlight the skills of the young people that were on the park, we thought if we could make that happen and make it more like a performance and a show, then we can get the audience and the community to understand what it was about. How can we highlight these kids as elite athletes and take away the stigma of just stoners down at the skate park? So when the series first started, um, it was conceived by um, Indigo Walton Guerin, who did all our concept, direction, all the risk assessments, worked out how the series could actually run. And she was doing it um, through consulting with um, Dre Regley, who used to be at Sanctioned AMX then, but it's long gone. Uh, and then he was the team manager for Fit Australia. Um, Chris Henderson, who was a professional BMX rider, was a big part of that at that time. Um, Chris Pianto was uh, also known as Spud. He was the lead singer in a couple of bands that were really popular at that time as well. And he took on our sound engineering um, with a team of some other guys as well. There was a young guy called Oliver Smith who was from Tangam who did lots of performance. Jess Gay um, and Charlotte Bodenhammer who was from the Alpine Youth Committee. They were all sort of our major key people and Sarah Webster. Um, and lots of those, as I said before, are musicians and performers and they created, brainstormed what different ideas could be and Indigo pulled it all together to make it work. Um, then it became initially Indigo Shire's responsibility and passion um, through the Indigo Shire Freezer Committee and then the Alpine Shire came on board and we invited them to be part of it as well because we had a few Alpine kids who were actually coming up to Indigo Shire to be part of our events and help making things happen up there. Um, and kids like Tasman, Cox Wheaton and stuff were really a big part of that. Um, once And Angus Goodman also as well. So once that started to grow and grow and grow, um, other shires saw what was happening and asked if they could be involved. So how it's worked up until recently is that Indigo Shire has been the legal entity of the events and that the other shires buy it in. The series runs over nine skate parks. So there's five in the Indigo Shire, three in Alpine Shire, Wangaratta Shire and Corowa. So that's Mount Beauty, Bright, Myrtleford, Beechworth, Yakandanda, Tangambalanga, Chilton, Rutherglen, Corowa and Wang. Because in every town that's around, there's five kids that ride a skateboard or two. And all these kids didn't know each other. So what we were trying to do was link everyone together so that, you know, the kid from Corowa knew he hadn't made him Mount Beauty. Besides making it an opportunity for performance and to highlight the skills, it also became about building a network and community and creating memories. What we've done by creating the series is we've created a space where young people who don't get involved in sport or other activities can have an opportunity to have a sport and can come together and encourage each other and feel like they're part of something. Um, a mum said to me about the second year, she said, I'd like to thank you. And I said, what for? And she said, because what I've done is created a sport for her son. And to bring so many different types of kids together to experience memories, to challenge themselves, to build skills and communication, I think it's really important. I hope the skate park series continues to grow. I know of a heap of passionate parents out there that are really into making it continue to happen. Um, this series has been duplicated already at Rochester and Echuca so there's people who are already starting to follow this model, which I think is really, really exciting. I think it's got a really big future. Um, what else would I like to say? I think it's amazing.